Well, here is a parenting question for you. I have two small people, and both of them are among the youngest, if not the youngest in their grades, and they are currently heading into third grade and first grade. When it came time for us to decide, should we hold them back so that they would be the oldest in their grade, or should we let them head into school with the kids that they were already beginning to play with, we decided to let them go ahead. They qualified academically. We knew that they were seeming a little bit young, maybe on the maturity level, but we wanted them to go ahead and head in where we knew they qualified. So we went ahead and did it. Now my daughter is getting ready to turn eight years old. She'll turn eight in July. And every year she wishes she was just a little bit older because shortly after she will turn eight, her friends in August and September will begin to turn nine. She always wishes she was a little bit older. And I know that this is something we will battle her entire life. I mean, think about when she gets ready to drive and she turns 16. So many of her friends will get their driver's licenses almost a year before she does. So they will always be ahead. And size-wise, when you're young, both of my kids are on the petite side. So there are a number of reasons parents hold their kids back when it comes to this kind of thing. It's not just academically, sometimes it's social, and sometimes it's for sports. If you have kids that are athletically gifted, you give them an extra year for size because then they will be playing with kids. Um, they'll, they have that, that extra additional gift, per se. What did you do when it came time to make this decision for your kids if they are on the cusp? And what do you think the benefits and drawbacks are of letting your kids join the grade if they technically qualify and they're on the cusp? Or what is the benefit of potentially holding them back? What did you decide to do?